Hi everyone, Danielle from Glembo here with our weekly Glembo from Home program. This week we're going to look at Vivian Meyer in her own hands. It's one of our feature exhibitions. We're going to do a tour of the exhibit, look around at some of her work, and then challenge you to go out into the world and use some of the skills that Vivian would have used and see what you can come up with. We want you to tag us and send in your photos and most of all, have fun. Hi everyone, here we are in our feature exhibit, Vivian Meyer in her own hands. Vivian Meyer was passionate about photography. So passionate in fact, that when a collection of her photos was found, there was over a hundred thousand negatives that were undeveloped. Born in 1926 in New York City, Vivian moved back and forth from Europe and the US, finally settling back in New York for many years. Much of her beginnings of her photography were filmed in the streets of New York City, where her interest in people and everyday situations fascinated her. Years later, she moved to Chicago where her passion continued and her collection of photographs grew. Throughout this time, Vivian's daily work was as a nanny. With her Roliflex camera around her neck every day, she spent days walking the streets, taking care of children, and obsessively taking photographs of her surroundings. Today, we would call her a street photographer. Her work tells us a visual story about the people, the places, and the time that she lived. There are several technical methods that Myers, make Meyer's work so interesting. One is her wonderful composition skills. Do you see in this photo how she's captured this family, but set it in a structure of the art gallery? This creates a beautiful frame, but still focuses on the subjects. Another is her interest in people. Do you notice how she's captured how this little girl is feeling? What do you think? Upset? Frustrated? Maybe just wondering who in the world is this woman taking my picture? Here, it's the way that she works with light, shadow, and reflection. In this photo, she's used the puddle to show the reflection of the lights and signs, creating an interesting way to look at the buildings, signs, and the street. Or in these next photos, the way she's using herself as the subject through reflections in mirrors, windows, and metal, as she often did. As you'll notice throughout much of her work is her interesting angles and that she's used these angles to create dynamic and attention grabbing photographs. Along with her skills, her brash and unapologetic way of getting the shot also helped. She would take photos of anything and everything she found interesting, but she also had a very keen eye and would wait for just the right moment to get the shot. In those days, film was expensive, so you just took one picture. Not many like we would today with our phone or digital cameras. All of her angles were calculated and intentional, meaning that she meant to do everything that she was doing. It also helped that her Roliflex camera hung around her neck, low and close to her waist. This allowed her to take pictures almost unnoticed and gave her a perspective that was different from the way we would capture now with the camera up to our eye. A man named John Maloof discovered her collection of negatives at an auction house in Chicago. When Maloof started to develop the photos, he discovered a talent that was next to none and had been hidden from the public for all of these years. You see, although Meyer was shooting all of these photos, she did not always have the money or ability to develop them and, although she would obsessively take photos, she never showed anyone her photos. So most of her collection of pictures was undeveloped and hidden away from the world until Maloof found them that day at the auction house. The exhibition we're in today is only a very small part of this discovery and shows us the talent that Vivian Meyer was. You can discover more about her and see more of her work in some of the links below. Now, on to your challenge. What we would like to challenge you to do is take your camera and begin to look at the world through the lens. We're going to attach a worksheet about composition 
and how to use a grid pattern to set up your photos. Then we want you to go out and look at the world. Start looking at everything around you. Look at the people, nature, the buildings, and especially the light and shadows. Watch how they change throughout the day. Watch how people move, how flowers and trees change. Watch everything. Get on the ground or get up high. Look up or look down. Take one shot. Try to take only one shot and live with it, even if it's uncomfortable. Once you've got some really good examples, look through and pick your favorite. Tag us here at Glembo and send it in. We can't wait to see what you come up with.